In my humble opinion, Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey is one of the most influential science fiction films of all time. It inspired a whole generation of artists, scientists, physicists, metaphysicists, filmmakers, and it's one of the films that inspired me to become an artist and filmmaker. My name is Christopher Adrian. This video documents my efforts to recreate the HAL 9000 life-size from scratch. Some of the older techniques are just gluing plastic together, and some of the newer techniques are drawing out parts in computer-aided drafting software and having them laser cut on a machine. The culmination of all this work resulted in a kit that's made of parts cast from polyurethane high-impact plastic. The kit components consist of the main body. This is hollow on the inside to allow for electronics installation. The electronic eye housing piece, the lens ring, the metal speaker grill, the HAL 9000 decal, or the SAL 9000 decal, and the clear lens dome piece. All of the parts will come to you somewhat pre-trimmed, but you'll need to do a little bit of sanding on them and a little bit of finish work. In this tutorial, we're using an airbrush to paint these parts. So before a part is painted, make sure that it's clean. So in this video, what you're seeing is an all black hell that's being masked in the center to maintain the black areas. But you can mask this in complete reverse and it'll look the same in the end. Once you have all the masking stripped off, you'll have a two-tone paint job, and now you can apply the decal. It's best to use a little bit of Windex applied onto the decal plate, so when you put on the vinyl decal, it'll slide around for a few seconds so you can get it into the perfect position, and then just press that decal into place. If you're going to install electronics, you'll want to make sure that you drill a hole through the body that corresponds with the hole in the lens housing. And I'm just marking off the hole in the body area and then drilling that hole and making sure that the hole in this body is large enough to allow the LED to pass through it clearly. To install the metal speaker grill, I just used some spray adhesive sprayed onto the metal grill and then just clamped it into place as it dried. A little bit of hot glue applied onto the electronic eye housing and it slides right into place. At this stage, you can give the entire model a coat of clear or semi-gloss, just to protect the finish. Now it's time to trim out the clear dome piece. Make sure when you trim this that it lies flush inside of the edges of the lens housing. You don't want this to interfere with the lens ring, so trim it so that it fits inside of all of the edges. And the outer lens ring is simply glued in place and clamped down while the glue dries. This is the optional electronic kit produced by Voodoo FX. It comes with a full sheet of instructions, an LED that's either in red for hell or blue for cell 9000, the resistor, some wiring, an on-off switch, the battery clip, basically everything you need to produce this electronic effect. Before you start any soldering project, it's advisable to make sure that you're starting with a clean iron tip. So here we're sanding the tip and then we're priming the tip with some solder. Follow the detailed instructions provided with the electronic kit. This will show you which end of the resistor fits onto the LED and which end fits down towards the battery pack. Be sure to test all your connections and make sure that your light powers up before you finalize any of the solder joints. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me. 
There's ample room in the HAL 9000 unit on the rear to install all of these components, so just hot glue that LED into place, hot glue down the battery pack, the wiring if necessary, and then the switch in a convenient location. I am completely operational and all my circuits are functioning perfectly. If you plan on using your HAL 9000 as a computer mod, as a decoration for the facade of your tower, you can wire this LED directly into the electronic system of your CPU. And as an alternative, you can build the Cell 9000, which is seen in 2010, the female version of HAL. Just wire in the blue LED instead of the red, and there you go. We are all, by any practical definition of the words, foolproof and incapable of error. Thanks for watching the HAL 9000 documentary, Build Up and Tutorial.